shitty ass game. Shitty ass website. Shitty ass website, bro. <laughs> bro, I don't care. Blue side, red side jungle, blue blue buff area all looks the same. I'm not trying to be like campist or jungleist, but all blue buff looks the same. All of blue side map. I don't even know. <laughs> Fuck off. I get, I don't know what it's called, man. Okay, the blue buff side of the blue and red side of the map. It all looks the same. You know, what? I will dominate shit talk you. I mean, fuck, I have to. What can I? What? What can I do? I just got it wrong. Wait, maybe I can do one more. Maybe I can redeem myself. Okay, it's working better now. It's working better now. It's working better now. It's working better now. Okay, did we ban Rumble? Uh, do I want to pick? Do I really want to pick my top lane champ? Uh, whatever. I'll give my mid lane counter pick. I'm a good person. Three months in a row. I am a good person. I will give him counter pick. Boss season, they get the prime three months in a row. Okay, this is for sure. You see this? This is little red buff marks. This is red buff marks. Or is that mid lane? No, that's mid lane. I think that's right here. I think this is right here. I think this is a tower. Let's fucking go. Big. 1.45 meters. Red buff wall. Boom! Right here. Red buff wall. Boom! Okay, blue buff wall right here. I know where this is. Right here. Right here. It's at this little hump. Boom. Next one. I know where this is. This is river. I barrel over this wall. I know this shit. Boom. Okay, that's blue side. Boom. Well, I gotta pick my runes. My disgusting little runes. What runes do I want to run into Bastard Garen? Bastard ass Garen. What runes do I want to run against Garen? I think I told myself I would go first strike against Garen. That's I think that's what I think I told myself last time. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna be true to that. Yeah, I'm gonna be true to that. I'm gonna be true to that. Alright. Uh this is this is this is top. This is top right here. Right here, I'm pretty sure. That's like near the entrance to Krugs. Yep. Big. Okay. Challenger lobby. Oh, fuck. I have 160 ping. <laughs> okay. That might not be good. I had my exit lag on. Who are these players? Who is an ugly broccoli? Who is Elysian De De Destiny? Who's Aelin? Who are these players, bro? I don't know any of these players in this lobby. I mean, I if my des if my support is Destiny, then like actual de I don't know who any of these are. Yozu, Taco, and Dante is true. I thought it was Dante's for a moment, but I think he's in still in the uh, PU. So I don't think it's him. With sword and shot, I'll take my life back. Okay, we have to stop them from proxying. Diego Garen. First strike's easy to proc on Garen? Yeah, but the rune sucks. That's the only problem. I agree with you, it's super easy to proc. It just sucks. It's so bad. Three hundred gold on, on gangplank literally just doesn't mean anything, unfortunately. It's like poop and piss and shit. Wait, Garen flashed. Okay, five forty top F. Faker got DDoS. Get ready, Solar Baka. Only the greatest are their target. Shit. I guess I'm about to get booted offline then. It is what it is. It is what it is. I lost my ship. Cashback is a better rune than first strike. Damn. The worst person you know made a great point. 
That's how I'm feeling right now, Mana Vicious. I found my hate in the fire. <laughs> I want to get level 2 quickly, that way I can stop his regenning. I will carve my name in their skulls. Scum. Or I could have waited one more second. Hmm. Wait, because he shielded it, did it protect his passive? I didn't know that. I thought Garen, if he took any damage here... Oh, I guess he doesn't take damage then. Let me focus more on farming than zoning him from the wave. I'm gonna take orange in case I get cheese yanked by Viego. It does happen in this region. You gotta break shield to break passive? Yeah, I'm seeing it. I wasn't aware about that. I thought oh I thought in combat is what the word I was looking for. I thought if he was in combat, it broke early on. And then like as he like levels up, it changes. Do I want to hard shove this? I don't think so. I gotta think, actually. What do I do in scenarios like this? What's the best thing to do? Okay, like, I know what technically the right answer is, and that's to shove four and then base. But, like, I'm getting blank, and I kind of want to play for my Sheen. Like, I'm aware I could buy a coal, but, like, you know what I mean? I, I need more practice with this. It's, it's not a scenario that happens often. It's not a scenario that happens often where you're able to get, uh... Well, this. I'm gonna bring this melee minion over here, and the reason why I bring the melee is so that the turret is not uh, on his side. The wave isn't on his side. So I get to zone him for more minions, build a slow push, reset, and purchase Sheen. So the way that I did that, for, for letting everyone know, is I queued him as the next minion wave arrives, and then I drag that one minion back to lane. 333,666. I think because I have first strike, it's actually the reason why he doesn't want to walk up. Because I swear I played against Fleet Footwork. I played Fleet Footwork against like Challenger Garens, and they don't give a fuck. Like they'll just tank everything. It's not like I do more damage. I think it's just like mentally he doesn't want to give me Fleet Footwork. Does him holding this matter? Shit, I think it does. Damn, if I could buy Sheen and pull, it would be so nice. Wait, can I do it? No, I'm bad at math. Fuck. Is it worth TPing here? I think it is. I think it is. I think it is. It's a win-win scenario. It's a win-win scenario by TPing, I think. We'll see, though. Okay, we push, we push. Why do I feel like he stayed though? Every Garen player stays until the end of time. I don't need a recall. Fuck, I know it! I know it! What did I say, chat? Bro, oh man! Man, I knew it! I called it! Every high elo Garen player stays until the end of time. This guy's gonna stay here until he has enough for Stride Breaker. On God, bro. Garen players are so psychotic. So what we're gonna do then is we're just gonna try and make his life miserable. Farm wise. I am so again, we're just gonna set up another slow push. An enemy has been slain. Also, does anybody know why this uh, collector Viego build is becoming meta? It's like Kraken Collector. I, I've only seen Chinese and a Viegos do it. I've never seen anybody else do it. So different to me. Justice. 
I guess they just want to go max damage. Is it actually good to take first strike after the nerfs? No, but it's like your only rune, really, against Garen. Like, you could go flee, but like... I don't know, cashback is good rune, jack of trades is a good rune. Fuck, that's really bad. What I just did is really bad. Oh, that's really bad. I shouldn't have taken two. One is fine, but I, I shouldn't have taken two. I'm just gonna pop all my potions. I didn't time it. Oh, I could have just waited. Mercy and Billwater. Everyone pays. Hang them from the slaughter. What about Grasp? Yeah, you can go Grasp. Grasp actually works. That's a good point. Well, any, whatever rune you take against Gary, just make sure you have Bone Plating. Make sure you have Bone Plating, Overgrowth, and Scaling HP runes. That's all that you really need against Garen. Alright, I have six Jack of Trade stacks, so I could have actually gone Longsword instead of Dagger, but it's fine. Also, I, I think it's obvious, but the reason why you take Bone Plating and Overgrowth is to have health. To the point that you can tank Garen's full combo and not die, right? So that's also why I went Phage. You lose Jack, though, if you sell D-Blade, no? Wait, why would I sell D-Blade? Did I mention I would sell D-Blade? Because if so, then no, I'm not selling D-Blade. I should have paid attention to that. I don't know, but for sixth item example, yeah, but who gives a shit? It's like 1080. 25, okay, so 10 Adaptive Force is 5 AD, right? So 25 Adaptive Force is like, what, 13 AD? Something like that? It's, oh, who cares? I'll burn it all down. That was a banger flash. Not selling your cookie for a moat? I can't buy a moat. If you mean like for my next item, nah, I just want to get Trinity ASAP. Trinity ASAP and then stop Garen from proxying and then bully him under my tower. But yeah, Jack, Jack and Trades is nice, right? But don't make it your win con. Jack of Trades is nice. I would say you take Jack of Trades never on Gangplank, never for 10, but you take it for the 5. You take it for the five stacks. Because that's relevant. It's relevant because you could buy boots and moat and get half a long sword, which will help you farm under tower. I mean not only that, but it just gives you more damage for being able for, for buying uh defensive, scaling, cheap item components. Stream with music posts a copyright issue, so if you go clip it right now, it will not pop up. No, I, I, don't, I, I, don't, I don't think we do this. I don't think we do this, Chief. This is not a gank. This is not a good gank, rather.
can't all in me. A turned back deserves a knight. Months in a row. Let's go best GP ever. Playing a uh, fuck ton of pressure right now. Jarblade thinks the prime two months in a row, bro. This Garen, I guarantee you, he is not happy with his jungler. I mean, we're farming pretty okay this game. <laughs> we're like farming pretty decent. Bro, this Garen's gotta be pissed off, bro. 215 from first strike, 484 gold. Always back. That region's not okay, I mean, it's fine. I think what I might do is I'm, I'm actually gonna go shield bow second. So I might go shield bow into serpents. They might be like, well, that sounds like ass, doesn't it? Yeah, but. If it helps me to make sure I never die to Garen, <laughs> excuse me, I think it's worth it. I mean, it depends, right? It really, really depends. Like, I'm so far ahead, I could just build damage because he's starving. Yeah, he's legit starved by so much that maybe it's overkill to do that. But yeah, we'll see. Have you missed a single minion? No, I don't think so. That was his last that was, that was his big thing. That he gave everything for that. He has nothing else. He put everything into that. So here's what I'm gonna do. Do you see this tier and this tier? This is Seraphs. Do you see Sona? That's also another shield. Viego Eclipse, another shield. Garen W, another shield. Eventual Sterax as well, right? So I I'm dominating lane, but I will permanently need to match Garen in the side lane. So the best way to make my ult as powerful as possible is to buy Serpents for my ult, specifically. Next, I think I'm actually going to go Shield though. I think it might be Shield Bow IE. We'll see. I'm a really big fan of Shield Bow, as of the new patch. Um, not as a second item, or even a third item, but like as a fourth item option. Killing spree. It could be like a really rare third item, depending on the comp you're playing against. Like if the enemy team has like a Rengar. Enemy double kill. This usually grows quick, doesn't it? We have six grubs. We're gonna reset. Again, we cannot throw this lead. The lead that we have right now is extremely precious. It is extremely precious and delicate. Wow, the only tower that has been taken is the top lane. 
yeah, this game's going to be a banger. You guys are going to enjoy watching this game. It's a pretty slow game. The only thing that might make it a little bit cancer to watch is Zeri. She's going to do the funny thing to my barrels, and then I'm going to be very sad. Because my barrels will be gone. I shit my pants, I'll be honest. I'll be honest, I shit my pants. I'm shitting my pants, I'm shitting my pants, I'm sorry. I have trauma against Garen, and it was the right choice. God bless. That was the right choice. Hey, I'm fucking 1v9. That was the right choice I made. If I recalled there, I would not have lived. Bro, I I'm not trolling you guys. If I die one time to Garen, I will never be able to kill him. I cannot die to Garen. It's not even a joke. Anybody who's played against Garen in chat knows right now. You all know. What it's like to play against the Garen character. You have improved recall? No, dummy. You're wrong, dummy. If you were paying attention, you would see that I did channel my recall, and it was not in fact in power. Or in fact, not in power, sorry. Who came up with the name of Harold? I don't know, but it's a great name. It's like you have Baron Nasher, League of Legends, fucking gods and men fighting each other. And then you got fucking Harold. <laughs> Giga Chad, holy. Refuses to elaborate. Cancel my recall and I will cancel your life. To be honest, I have Nautilus. A rare Death Daughter game. We don't benefit from the movement speed besides Hecarim. He's the only one who does. And, um, I have a Nautilus. I have setup. I have Lux. I have a Jin W, Jin Ult. I have Nautilus. Like, I think Death Slaughter is actually good this game. Alright, so now I cannot die to Garen. Five hundred twenty shield. Yeah, you can't deal with that. So the ideal scenario against Garen is to orange the second my shield bow procs. And the reason for that is because she, uh, Garen's ult is an execute. It does missing health damage. So if I orange the second my shield bow procs and then he ults, then it'll be uh, negated damage to the shield. If that makes sense. That's what my goal is. It's the same concept as when you're playing against Evelyn. And you buy Maw of Malmordius. Evelyn doesn't really care about Maw, right? But I, don't come back stronger. I need to recall. I need to base ASAP. Okay, this is heaven. Lux, if you need to match top, go. I am more important. To build water. Keep the weather eye out. That serpent's fang on everyone, by the way. It, my serpent, did you guys see that? Serpents instantly reduced 538. See that? That's good. Ooh, 
doing this pretty slow. I think we leave. I don't think we should be posturing for fight. I think we should posture this way, yeah. Yeah, we got TP out. Don't get comfortable in my absence. I think it's smart to back off there. We faked a Nash and then we got Talia's TP. I think that's a good macro. See, I'm gonna be stuck on Crit Cloak for a long time. So because I'm gonna be stuck on Crit Cloak for a long time, I think it's really beneficial for me. Okay, never mind, we could just Nash. Never mind, we could just Nash. There are 80 carries that it's just free. And Talia's bot. <laughs> An enemy has been slain. <laughs> Respect. Okay, push top. Go for mid me bot. I can 1v2 rely reliably. 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 Yeah, I spelled it right. I'm, I'm a good guy. Reckoning approaches. On that shit champ? Yes. Always watch your back. I'll burn it all down if I can't die. Shibira surely means something. Your team has destroyed a turret. Talia's here? Top Leah? Another! I really thought she was gonna be there actually. I didn't crit at all there. I mean, I just... I, I, I literally just didn't crit at all. I feel like I did not crit at all, no? I don't know. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm maybe I'm like delusional. I don't think I crit a single time. I think I crit like one time on Garen. You did? Oh, well, I didn't crit on the most important part, which was the barrel. And if I crit on that barrel, I would have been able to kill him. Bro, I feel like I did not crit at all. Maybe I could have my flash in a better way. I just thought Viega was gonna W flash. Also, do you guys see how useful shield bow is? It's actually so good. Honestly, the move might be Infinity Edge into Bloodthirster. I'll take back what's mine. <laughs> Backroom should have ulted. That way the fear followed. Spit me out. Wait, what if I went Infinity Edge and then Visage? Do I, do I need Mortal Reminder this game? I mean, they have some healing, right? But is it, is it necessary? I have to run because Zeri can just E over the wall. Okay, I TP. I could have just timed that normally, but I couldn't I couldn't know that. 
I couldn't know that they were going to be ass randomly. Wow, Death's Daughter just killed him. I just killed that guy as well. Bro, this is where GP feels good, is when you can miss your barrels and just like press Q or press R and be so useful. GP feels really good when that when that happens. Really nice not playing against Phase Rush Garen because it means you could just combo the shit out of him. I rarely forget. Serpent's value, 1200, which is really bad considering I did 500 uh, the, on my very first ult. Wow, this feels terrible. We were tracked the whole time. Damn, that was good to leave ult. We were, we were tracked the whole time, that's kind of sad. But I, 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 there's no world I live there. Unless I save my orange. Yeah, maybe I save my orange. Maybe that's how, actually. Yeah, maybe I just save my orange. So that was really close to being a kill. Zeri flashed. Zeri flashed. So what should I build next? Should I go Mortal Reminder? Yeah, Mortal Reminder for sure. We go Mortal Reminder, that's fine. Okay, our Lux is just one shotting people. Good flash. W is bad? I mean, yeah, I just had to save it. That's really all it was. Uh... My vengeance will be bloody. Your butt. Thank you. Your turret has been destroyed. I lost my ship, but not my soul. It's all for my item, honestly. Just wait, my item, mortal. I really need this item. My hate in the fire. I like really, really need this item. We should go mid and get two get two inibs. More powder. I mean, I go bot to mid. Never trust a build right. Always watch. <laughs> That's really good. I know I one shot right now. Right now, I do a lot of fucking damage, bro. We ain't fucking around anymore, bro. Mercy sank with my Diego even then ended up flashing. I should have used one barrel. I shouldn't have used both to clear this wave. We're at 75% crit right now. Um. 
Everything I have is necessary. I can't I can't sell anything. I'm just gonna buy elixir of I'm just gonna buy elixir of iron because if you see, right, overgrowth's giving me 260 health, right? I have 3.6k health with a 720 shield. So I actually don't have 3.6. I have like 4.4k health. This is disgusting. And then I dropped my ults. Seraphs, our uh, serpents went from 2k to... Still 2k, what the fuck? Oh, I guess Sona never completed her item. I guess Sona never never completed the... Seraphs. Oh well, serpents was good. I am reborn of Sona. Clean game. Actually clean game. I died what? Once or twice that entire game? I'll take it. That's big. Big chat. Huge. Yeah, our farm was good. That was a child lobby, too. Plus 23. Ugh. Ugh. Plus 23.